This reminds me of a story. Shocking. It's about an impossibly handsome dwarf and his friend who got crowned King of the Nugs. A Nug King? Really? It's not as good as it sounds. Nugs mostly just shit on the floor and roll in it. Welcome to the Deep Roads. Sarah and I were just talking about you. We need you to settle a question for us. Sarah's involved. So this question will be offensive. Mountains, cold. Let's bring Dorian. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. Right now I'm thinking, this shit is weird, the Inquisitor Lavellan story. That breach. It's hard to look away from it sometimes. Right, because you know what it looks like. No, no it doesn't. You know. So you're gonna squeeze up to her or not? What? Squeeze up to who? Lady Josie. I've seen you doing that nightly stuff. Make a Sarah. No, stay out of it. <laughs> you're all shy. What, you think you can't treat her right? No, it's not. I'll show you. I just need a peach, a ripe one. Because if you do it right, ripe. Down there. Please, no peaches, ripe or otherwise. Well, I can't teach you bananas. That'd be like showing you swords. Oh, remember, do not use it like a sword. How do I make this stop? Stupid darkspawn. <coughs> You're much more likely to hit rock. Still their house. Message sent. Hey, Sarah, you see the blonde a few towns back. She was easy on the eyes. The one with the huge ditches? No. Well, yes, but what about the fancy bow on her apron? Dangling all long and sassy, so someone could ease it open with one slow pull. You have to see the little details to get the whole person, Sarah. There's a woman behind those tits. Yeah, way behind. Why don't you have real Bianca instead of fingering your fake? That's complicated. But you handle things, secret network and all that. Dwarven ways are dug in deep. Let's just say I don't quite have the reach. She lacks a certain flexibility. Pity. Now I wonder how you two look naked. <laughs> We're dwarves, so like I said, I don't have the... You know, I'll just leave that one to you. What? Take this gift. Do not falter. In the absence of light, shadows drive. The fuck? So you can make people not see you, Cole. Can you do that for other people? Yes. It makes me tired and doesn't work if they're loud or angry or bright. Hmm. What about things? Can you make people ignore an object? Maybe. Like what? Oh, I don't know. A, a book or a box or a crate or a, or a wagon full of crates? Dwarf. I'm just asking. Surely you see there's nothing to fear in a properly used tool. Tell that to all the proper mages waving their tools in people's faces. There's an image. What about Corythimus? How many proper tools does he have under him? That's not... I don't think I can continue. Right, well, I don't care how gifted you are. Don't cram it where it's not wanted. <laughs> Your knife is big. <laughs> it's a sword. It's bigger than mine. And now you've made it awkward. If you're on edge, I should alert the entire Inquisition. Or increase my hazard pay. That's an option. <laughs> the thing's that bad. Uh oh. You make friends with spirits in the Fade. So, um, are there any that are more than just friends? If you know what I mean. Oh, for really? Look, it's a natural thing to be curious about. For a 12 year old? It's a simple yes or no question. Nothing about the Fade or spirits is simple. Especially not that. <laughs> so you do have experience in these matters. I did not say that. Don't panic. It'll be our little secret. Ass. <laughs> now who's 12? I hear you judge wrongs among your people, Inquisitor. If you are willing, I ask you to judge Storvaka. I'm sorry? As a warrior of our hold, Storvaka should have died rather than submit to the vile ritual the Jaws of Hakon had prepared. It is 
unclear whether the Augur or I should judge such a thing. You are here. I would be grateful. Very well. I wouldn't want life in the hold to become unbearable. Ugh. You have something to say, mage. If I had something to say, I'd say it. That's it? I'd expect more from a man who can't stop talking about how clever he is. And I'd expect no less from a brutish thug. Better that than a pompous brat. <laughs> well, such camaraderie. They all like coffee face. Not quite. Corypheus is one of a kind. An original darkspawn, it turns out. I mean, are they all crazy? Wanting to be gods? <laughs> like that. You brought up Bianca, Seeker. Does that mean I can ask about your conquests? I would rather you didn't. No tantalizing secrets to divulge? None. So no one within, say, a five-foot radius has caught your eye? Really? No one at all? This is not a discussion I want to have here. <laughs> Are you blushing, Seeker? Maker, the world really is coming to an end. Hey, Solus, you ever do your fade thing and pretend you can fly? Just flap your arms and zip around in there? Maybe bang some hot fade ladies? No, such behavior attracts the attention of demons. Ah! Demons shit up everything. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. And keep banging your head against the problem. It'll go away eventually. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. How is that good in any way, Bull? Buttercup, the kitchen's missing all their lard. Was that you? <laughs> yeah. Better? Here? Shut it. You know the rules about friends. <laughs> it's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrat and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. They ran out of there fast as you think, bare asses shining in the moonlight. <laughs> the whole way back to their village. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? They ever wear shirts under the Kuhn, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not. I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. If I told you the port was a little dry, would you burst into flame? You're joking, yes? Please tell me you're joking. Hey, Viv! Vivi! Look at this. I got something for you. Darling, it's your bottom. Again. As bony and sad as it was the last dozen times you displayed it. It's my butt! Maker, however shall I endure this horror? Someone fetch me a fainting couch. Hey, cool, quick! What number am I thinking of? Raw and hot, trying to open it, but just darkness. How bad? How bad? No, done now. No sense worrying. The man they hurt coughs, shaking but sits up. Eyes wide. No, not a man. A woman. Clothes torn. You're safe now. I'm Iron Bull. What do you want me to call you? Twelve. The number I was thinking of was twelve. <sighs> Demon interrogators. Stupid idea, anyway. Oh, I like the way she thinks. We should keep her around. For mayhem. Yes, mayhem. All right, get it out of your system. Mayhem! Mayhem! She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. <laughs> Admitted, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. I have to say, you and Cassandra make an adorable couple. <laughs> Never thought I'd use the words adorable and Cassandra in the same sentence. Good book? Ah! I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Shawbacca, I demand an unflattering report of your performance as a hold beast. It will be recited to you every day for one week. I trust this is sufficient... embarrassment? Ugh. Hey, you know, they're holding a grand tourney in Markham soon. I think we should all go. 
Inquisition road trip. There's got to be trouble or something up near Markham. No. An ogre! I hate the deep roads. Nothing's stopping us from going back up. We're not going back up. Ah, just a suggestion. That staff's in pretty good shape, Dorian. You spend a lot of time polishing it? Uh, it's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields. The latest chapter. The latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. Oh, I love Tiny Cakes. And there's so many. Which should I try first? Hey, Chuckles, do you ever play Wicked Grace? I'm not much of a gambler anymore. You don't have to play for real coin. That's just for keeping score. What do you play for? Conversation, mostly. That way I win, no matter how the cards fall. So, Dorian, about last night... Uh, discretion isn't your thing, is it? Three times! Also, do you want those silky underthings back, or did you leave those like a token? Or, wait, did you forget them so you'd have an excuse to come back, you sly dog? If you choose to leave your door unlocked like a savage, I may or may not come. Speak for yourself. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? Not the fireside tale I was expecting, Blackwall. I suppose that's one way to improve relations between Tevintra and the Kunari. You know me, boss. I'm a peacemaker. Whatever differences Dorian and I have, this is a way for us to come together. <laughs> you get it, cuz... Yeah. I'm asking as your friend. How did I not know about this? I wouldn't want anyone to know about this. Just like I wouldn't want anyone to know I fancy Ferelden beer. Oh, the shame, Dorian. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe. Don't say a word, dwarf. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antiva, Commander. Shanta Kafas, don't you ever bathe? Sometimes. You want to watch, don't you? I'd rather stand upwind. Human sweat smells like pork that's been sitting in the sun. Just saying. Dorian, those words you say, what do they mean? What, you mean like mendicant? Ultimatum? No ass when you're mad. Vishanti Kofas. You're swearing, I know it. Vishanta Kofas. It's Tavine, relics of the old tongue. We still use the colorful phrases. And it means what? Literally, you shit on my tongue. <laughs> I'd happily do more dancing. Just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. Then it's them, not you. You don't want to kill. You want to defend. Hey, don't go around saying crap like that. I like killing. But you give them a chance. You make them choose. So it's their fault. Just... <sighs> Come on, kid. You're making it weird. Dorian's a sweet guy. He's gentle. And he cares under all that bluster. I'm hoping we're good for each other. Plus, I've never done it with a mage before. One time he got so excited he set the curtains on fire. <laughs> it's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No! Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. I suppose you'd also best me with one hand tied behind your back. Uh, bind me eyes to make it fair. If I have to knock sense into you, I'd have you see it coming. If I beat sense into you, you'll not see for a week. Old man, I will not be your suicide. Uh, <laughs> the spine to you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs>
are terrible and magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You, you could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. Varric, are you going to write me into one of your stories? How could I not? When you do, make sure you describe the musculature right. Because this isn't just endurance work. There was a lot of strength training to get here. You want to use words like rippling or ripped. Ripped is good, too. The Iron Bull's belly was prone to rippling after every meal. He rarely wore shirts as they ripped under the strain. That hurts, Varric. That's hurtful. Just one more big fight to put this Magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. I think it will probably be a little harder than just one more fight. I did say it'd be a big one, boss. So you did, Bull. So you did. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? Every time I play, I increase the odds of winding up like Cullen. You're never more alive than when you're about to lose your pants, my friend. They don't see that a real, normal man fought the Avar and killed that dragon. And they certainly don't know about your strange fixation with Elfruit. My feelings for Elfruit are classified, Scout Harding. <laughs> I'll carry your secret to my pyre. Oh, are, are you putting me on trial? Feeling very judged. Hold a moment, you're you you you're Varric Tethras. You've got to be kidding me. I've read all your books, and I have all the printings of Hard in High Town. Even the band version. I've read it thrice. Nice to know the rock falls, everyone dies, ending found its audience. How do you feel, Iron Bull? Do you need a distraction to focus your mind? Well, this area's low on dancing girls. Sadly. King's pawn to E4. You're shitting me. We don't even have a board. Too complicated for a savage Talva shot? A smug little asshole. Pawn to E5. Pawn to F4. King's gambit. Accepted. Pawn takes pawn. Give me a bit to get the pieces set in my head. Then we'll see what you've got. I spy with my little eye. No. Oh, come now, Seeker. I'm just trying to be friendly. Try to be quiet instead. I spy. No. But... No. <sighs> well, you should be good at finding things. Of course, you couldn't find Hawk. Who's that? Did I win? So... your girlfriend is a smith? Yes. She makes weapons with her own hands. Among other things, that's hot. <laughs> Something particularly funny? You and Bull. <laughs> I, I'm glad it amuses you. But what I get from my affairs is my affair. I know what you get. It's like falling through a tree into custard. Too high, wham. Too fast, wham. Leaves, wham. Splat. I'm not sure which is worse, the mockery or the accuracy. Eh, uh, depends on how much rest the trees had. I could do without all the demons, boss. Anytime you want to leave, it's fine by me. Right. How's it end? What? The tavern tale? Come on. You left off elbow deep in circumstances. That can't be it. That wasn't her name, but yeah, that's as far as the story ever gets. Why are you complaining? 
because I can't stop thinking about it. I need to know the end. Why would you want to stop? The whole point of the good bit is thinking about the good bit. If I tell the end, it ends. Bunch of moan is this. Drag out the sad shit, yes please, but hang on to a good bit? Oh, can't have that. <laughs> Freaking daft. So, where were we? Ah, yes. Mage to C4. A little aggressive. Arashok to H4. Check. Speaking of aggressive, I assume Arashok is your turn for the queen. King to F1. Pawn to B5. All right. You have my curiosity. Mage takes pawn. You call your Tamasrans mages? Hmm. Ben Hasrath to F6. You call your knights Ben Hasrath. Incidentally, knight to F3. Ben Hasrath makes more sense than horses. They're sneaky, and they can move through enemy lines. Arashok to H6. Pawn to D3. Ben Hasrath to H5. Ha! All right, take some time. Think about your life choices. Is there anything I should know? Only that I'm never playing cards again. I still can't find my... No, it doesn't matter. I don't know how Varric talked me into that. So, Bull, you and Dorian. Mm-hmm. Two worlds tearing them apart, to Vinter and Kunari, with only love to keep them together. I don't see how this is even remotely your business, Varric. Could you make it sound angrier? Love is a bit soft. Please stop helping the dwarf. How about passion? Yes, that's better. Love is all starlight and gentle blushes. Passion leaves your fingers sore from clawing the sheets. You could at least have had the courtesy to use the bedposts. Hey, don't top from the bottom. <laughs> passion it is, then. We will continue when I have time. And the wind calls me. This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. Oh, Bianca. <laughs> nope, not going there. That's what she said, probably. Because you two are friggin' weird. Fair point, Buttercup. Fair point. Everyone remember not to look down. I may have already looked. Just try not to think about it. Or fall. Falling would be worse. Nobody wants to be the one to tell the world the Inquisitor fell off a log into an abyss. He always comes back. Pay up, Saroga. All right, Bull. If you are prepared, knight to H4. Arashok to G5. So. You giving up the Tamasran at B5, or the Bin Hasrath at H4? Neither. Knight to F5. Pawn to C6. Left your Tamasran hanging out. And you, your knight. Or Ben Hasrath, if you will. Pawn to G4. Ben Hasrath to F6. Hmm. Tower to G1. Ha! Pawn takes your Tamasran, or mage, whatever it is. I get the idea. Too much time playing with spirits, Fade Walker. Where do you get all your arrows, Sarah? You have hundreds. From your arse, that's where. My arse should open up a shop. It's apparently quite prolific. Cole, the wooden duck I found on my bed, was that you? No, I'm not a wooden duck. Ier sumiel. I've never heard that phrase. Can anyone translate? I'll try. <clears throat> Can you... Talk like us. Deltash! Never mind. So, Bull, about Dorian. Yes, it's true. By all means, let's all discuss this together. If you're both pleased. I'm happy, he's happy, everyone's happy. Oh, you're happy. <sighs> you didn't always have a beard. I didn't emerge from my mother with a hairy face, no. I saw a sketch of Todd Reynard. No beard. Warden Blackwall had a beard. Ah, uh, that explains everything. I like your horns, the Iron Bull. But they're dragon horns, not bull horns. You could have named yourself the Iron Dragon. Oh. Shit. 
That would have been better. Thoughts? It's called the Well of Sorrows. Sorrows? No one should go in the Well of Sorrows. The Val Royo market was once nothing but tents of oiled leather and mud, filled with ragged humans, selling strings of beads made of bone. You saw this in the Fade? Yes. I left that memory quickly. The smell. Must have been ages ago. Oh, yes. It's much better now. I enjoy the frilly cakes. Will you be returning to Devinter now? No, actually. I was thinking of sticking around for a while. <laughs> Would that have anything to do with Iron Bull? <laughs> it might. You know how it is. Plus, what would you do without me? How will I ever know unless you go? Oh, clever. See? I keep you wit sharp. That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. The Iron Bull. A woman in the last village wanted you to pick her up and take her clothes off. Most people do. In her mind, you were very big. Well, that's flattering. After careful consideration, knight to d5. Arashok takes pawn at b2. Mage to d6. Arashok takes tower. Check. What are you doing, Solace? King to e2. All right. Tamasran takes tower. Your last tower, by the way. Pawn to e5. Really? I've got my whole army bearing down on your king, and you're moving a pawn? Are you even trying anymore? Think about it, my friend. So what's your estimation, Varric? Think we can win? You aren't asking me to give odds on our beloved Inquisitor's success. What would that look like? Three to one? <laughs> In his favor? After Corypheus pulled an archdemon out of his ass, are you joking? You would actually bet against me. Now, now, if I weren't here, it'd be five to one at least. Brave man. We'll talk later. Now you're talking. Best two out of three on the well. <laughs> Knew I liked you. Bonus for bouncing off helmets. And thanks for stuff. Cassandra! You did it. Varric, how could you let the night captain be framed for murder? Well, I could spend three entire chapters setting it up. But she didn't deserve it. You'd already put her through more than enough. Look, Seeker, if you love a character, you give them pain, ruin their lives, make them suffer. Maybe even throw in a heroic death. That makes no sense. You never did tell me why you dragged me to Haven, Seeker. I mean, what could I have told the Divine that you couldn't say yourself? I thought she needed to see the chest tear for herself. I... say again? Peace. Kill my heart, I've grown on you. Like fungus. So cool. You're polite, you're good in a fight, and your heart's in the right place. It is? Good. I've got a plan. I think this could get you sorted out, get both feet on the ground. I have to lift my feet. All the rocks make noise when I walk. Yes. When we get back, you're gonna spend an evening with a nice lady named Candy. Can I lift my feet? <laughs> She's gonna lift a lot more than that. You're a damn fine marksman. How do you manage that while staring up at everyone's ass the whole time? In a world of tall people, you find ways to keep them from tripping over you. You ever get the asses mixed up? If I do, Tiny, you'll be the first to know. I can't believe you picked the absolute worst of my books to read. Why not Hard and High Town? I have enough mysteries and investigations of my own. What, you don't want to solve more in your spare time? Then you killed my favorite character in Chapter 3, so I threw the book across the room. Ah, <sighs> a critic. Madame de Fer has told us what great trials you faced, trying to save my poor brother's life. It was valiant of you to champion him in his final hours. All I did was kill a wyvern. Checked your drawers recently, Vivi. Hmm? Oh, yes, my dear. Although I was rather well stocked with that particular shade of viper, so I sent it back. Sent... sent it back? Yes. It should make its way to you at some point. 
I was most concerned it might have difficulty on the steps, so I gave it legs. Six of them. That's not... You're making fun, right? Do you sleep with your mouth open? I should avoid that. It was heavy with eggs. Skitter, skitter. Cassandra still not speaking to you? I don't know. It'll take time to earn back her trust, if I ever do. Well, she does hate it when people lie to her. At least she didn't stab you in the book. Don't you mean the back? No, I mean the book. Definitely the book. Hey, when this is all done, if you ever need my help for anything, you just ask, all right? Knew it! Knew you could be one of us. Us? That Red Jenny thing, I, I didn't mean. It'll be brilliant, right? You can flip some tables, show some knobs your ass or something. No one needs to see my ass. I know! <laughs> Assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? But no one. Seriously, Buttercup, nothing about the way you run things could possibly work. They work. They've done more. This is just... what I do. Well, what you do doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't make sense either. Yeah. Should I push, or am I just setting myself up for your face doesn't make sense? You're... Shut it! Did you know that in Ostwick, they hold races with greased cheese? That sounds daft as anything. They butter up a cheese about the size of a small wagon wheel and see how far they can run with it. I'd just eat the cheese. It's culture. Well, culture can get in my mouth. Does that noise ever stop? Well, it's sand blowing on sand in a place full of wind and sand. Thank you. That makes so much more sense now. <laughs> it's rather amusing, Dorian. Your outfit's entertaining, I'll give you that. The way you sneer at southerners, pretending to be a shark from a land of sharks. But you are not a shark and never will be, darling. They knew it, just as you do. I could have pretended. War fancy clothes, convinced everyone I'm something I'm not. Then I could take a position at court, whore myself out, and desperately hope no one realizes what a fraud I am. Such snapping for a fish without teeth. You should put on a show. Charge for admission. I know. I'm taking notes. Oh, how was Candy? You two have a good time? Yes. She danced. Then I untangled the hurt that made her angry at her mother. I helped her write a letter to send back home. She said I could call her Marguerite. The name didn't hurt anymore. Well, that was five royals well spent. All right, Solus. I've thought about it. Ready to finish this? Ben Hasra to A6. Knight takes pawn at G7. Check. Mm-hmm. King to D8. Queen to F6. Check. And now my Ben Hasra takes your queen. You've got no towers. You're down to a single mage. Too bad you wasted time moving that pawn to... to... You sneaky son of a bitch. Mage to E7. Checkmate. Ugh. Nice game, mage. And you as well, Talvashoth. You're the demon called Imshale. Ahem. Choice spirit. Talky ones. <sighs> I hate the talky ones. Wait, wait, wait! These are your friends? They're very violent. It's worrying. True to my name. I will show you that you have a choice. It doesn't always have to end in blood. Talk. That's how they get you. Simple. We don't fight, and I grant you power. Shower you with riches. Or maybe virgins. Your pick. Then we all live happily ever after. Well, not all of us. But who's counting? Well, I'd like to be showered with virgins. I should really stop offering virgins. Everyone always chooses them, and I can never find any. Oh, wait. There's one. I probably don't want him. How about a rune of legend inscribed by the gods, radiating forgotten magic, blah, blah, blah. No. You die, demon. 
Alpha. Choice, spirit. <laughs> <laughs>